Welcome back to this perfume and luxury channel. Today it's a perfume video and I'm so excited to talk to you about my most complimented perfumes ever of all time. These are, if you want compliments, then wear these. And I'm going to tell you like what kind of compliments I got. And I love this because when I spend so much money on my perfumes, I do want compliments. Let's be honest. Sometimes it's nice. It's very nice. And I feel like mm, you did well, my fragrance bottle of the day, you know, uh, and I love that. So and I feel like being a fume head, I share my SOTD on Instagram, for example, Monica underscore Tjoch, and I want to share it with somebody. I want to be like, oh, this is the fragrance I'm loving at the moment. But sometimes people just don't get it, you know, people outside don't get it. With these, they got it, even non-fume heads. So if you enjoy fragrance videos, subscribe. Let's jump into the first fragrance I got tons of compliment for, and this is a real, real like dry woody scent. Oh, I love this one. It's Harrods Special Oud from Roja Parfums. This scent, it's so good. Oh my God. Oh, when I wear it and I want to smell it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh, I want to wear it today actually. Oh my gosh. It's a scent that is dry and woody and citrusy and so intense, so, so intense. It kind of smells like petrol in a way, which I love. I love that scent. I'm the crazy person that opens the car window when my husband like does the thing because I don't drive. So I always just sit on the passenger seat and like, oh, I want to smell it. it makes my mouth water the scent. And this is one compliment that I remember is that I went for a um, back massage and the lady that was doing it afterwards just like please tell me what you're wearing because it's so gorgeous I want to know what it is so I wrote it down for her on a piece of paper you could tell that she was absolutely like oh my gosh this is amazing this is a power statement making fragrance definitely i wore it on my birthday this year the sillage is great on this it's to, just to die for if you love unisex dry woody citrusy scents then oh just mouth watering so powerful so excellent quality and uh, will make you feel like a queen next is also a dry woody scent and i find that it's you know we as women often um, we're told to wear these really sweet and floral scents and this is what a lot of men like but also i find that when you juxtaposition it position juxtapose it with um wearing something very dry something that is considered masculine maybe more i think that really is nice because what i found that when i wear this oudwood Tom Ford. I recently started wearing it more. I got a compliment like from two people in one day. It's a scent that, oh, and yeah, and then another day I wore it like straight after and I got complimented uh, also when I was doing MFK special event. Uh, the lady who was doing the event, she was like, oh, you smell lovely. What is it? And this was it. So it's a scent that I myself find that I can't smell it on me too much. I find that I think that it's gone, but other people will really pick up because to me, it's not a hugely intense scent, but it's a scent that really just grabs attention. My husband, when he wears this, because this is considered a manly masculine scent, but uh, Taylor Swift, I believe this is her signature scent as well. Um, and when he wears it, he gets tons of compliments, like from random people, just like when we were picking up our little dog Moshi, uh, the breeder I was like, oh my gosh, please, can you write it down? Because I love the scent. So it's just the most random places and random people will really tell you like what you're wearing. So many more people must be thinking of it because to get the courage to ask somebody, you know, what scent they're wearing. This is, yeah, if you're a woman and if you like Jayuri scents, just go for it. It's such a compliment getter, but in like a non-obvious way, it's genius, I think. It's such a great scent and so versatile to wear. Next up, 
a fragrance that I get complimented a lot on. Uh, it is M Plus. Man uh, not mandarin iris sorry i've got the mandarin back there the iris one look how much of the bottle is gone and that is quite an achievement based on my collection uh this is a scent that is really different and i think that is why it's getting a lot of attention this is a transparent iris scent this is a clean iris it's kind of smells like paper to me like nothing but in the best way like a clean slate and this scent really and a bit nutty which i really really like dry like nuttiness in there as well iris is considered such a feminine um note and i think it just yeah, it's so elegant and this scent, the sillage is huge on this. It really lasts, it really moves with you, changes with the weather, changes with your skin. You can really tell. So I find that with this scent, I find that I'm wearing a different scent depending on the season, which is also great. Very multifaceted scent, clean, just transparent. If I want to take a break from my usual umbery fragrances that I prefer. I wear this and this. For example, my husband, he is obsessed with when I wear it. This is my like gym scent and I see people like loving it. It's a scent that like my family has complimented. It's a scent that just really captures attention because it's so different. If you smell it, it's just like a very simple iris. It's really hard to find a scent exactly like this so this is a little gem Cri Chanel and this one I talk to you about all the time this one just compliment magnet basically you know with my husband he doesn't compliment many fragrances and I wear a lot so to get a compliment out of him it's a lot but then his family when we went there they loved it and also we went to Norway, complimented it hugely, the scent Grishanel. Uh, it's a scent that is so feminine. It's really delicate. It's like this English rose of a scent. This is what it smells like to me, like a real lady. It's a fig, sandalwood, creamy, creamy it's, uh, scent. It smells a bit like coconut. It's so just... Mm, delicious so calming it's a very calm scent you know some scents if they've got loads of citruses they're like ba -ba -ba, look at me whereas this is just i find that it goes straight to like the heart notes and the dry down it's just like a very level uh soothing scent very ladylike very polite um it's yeah it's a scent that for sure will get you compliments and if you're looking for a signature scent i would say this is like a gem this is so 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 good and did i didn't i tell you that the extra was coming out and it just came out and i'm waiting a bit until i buy it but i'll definitely buy it and do a recommendation um, a comparison between the extra and the other Parfum, yes, or the parfum. Next fragrance that I get a tons of compliments, and I don't wear this one enough. I should really wear this more. Um, it's this baby. It's Coco Mademoiselle, and uh, this is Eau de Parfum Intense or Intense. <laughs> Such a fun scent. Like you all probably know it. If you're watching this video, you probably have smelt it on somebody, or you know it. Uh, I got complimented by my op optometrician optometrician you know the doctor for the eye uh, optometrist optometrist i think that's what it's called yeah she was asking me what scent i was wearing this is a scent that a lot of people like at work would just pull out put on because it's just like a work i find that a lot of people at work office jobs would wear this um and it's a scent that yeah it gets tons of compliments always because it's such a it's a known scent but it's good it's popular for a reason and people really notice when i wear this i should wear it probably more often because i really enjoy it but with so many fragrances and niche fragrances i sometimes forget about the designer scents this is also look how much it's gone it's you know quite a lot actually for my collection um next up is a newer fragrance that I got tons of compliments on it. Yeah, I was surprised. I'm not usually a Creed 
women's perfume person. I'm really not. Uh, and I was kind of hesitant to really try this one. And um, I was thinking, okay, by the notes, it looks okay. Let's hope, let's hope it's the first Creed women's perfume that I'll fall in love with. And yes, they nailed it, nailed this new release, Windflowers. I wore it for two days straight and like got compliments, uh, random, like at, at the cinema, the person that was getting, um, like scanning our tickets. He was like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. And uh, it's like a surprise for me because it's such a light scent. It's so light and watery, but in the best way. This is a scent that really blends into your skin and it's a light, pretty watery scent. So I can really smell, you know, this like watery freshness in it. It reminds me a bit of another fragrance that I absolutely love and I wear in the summer. It's Coconut Fizz by Galan, Aqua Allegoria, because it's just so, clean fruity just such a great like little flowers going around the water it's like a water fountain and then la flowers just like going around it that's what i see in my head when i smell this such a stunning just simple delicate scent and this one Oh, I just apply a ton of it because it's so refreshing. There's a slight bit of sweetness in there, but if you love flowers, you'll like this. If you don't like super flowery fragrances, because I don't usually, this is, yeah, you'll probably like this because it's done in such a watery, just elegant way. Really, really love this one. And, um, I think that this is kind of similar to the next fragrance that I'm going to talk to you about. Yeah, yeah, there's something definitely very similar going on in these two, even the bottles are similar. I don't know if that was, you know, what they intended, but yeah, I feel like this one will get tons of compliments uh, just as this one because they're watery, just super like feminine, fresh, like your skin scent, but better, really radiate off your skin, but in like a really intimate way. Um, this Chanel Chance, I've gone through bottles of this. This is, I don't know, my third, fourth bottle of this. This used to be my signature scent and I would get tons of compliments. This like from a very young age, I wanted a Chanel fragrance. <laughs> I was this person that like, saved my money and like didn't spend it on any sweets, anything. It just, yeah, you know, I was like, hmm. And then, you know, my dad, I was like, okay, you're going to France because he was going um, on a work trip to France. And I said to him, please, can you get me this fragrance? Because it's cheaper there. He was going to be on the ferry, so it would be cheaper there. Um, and I said exactly the name and everything. And he brings me back the body lotion spray of this and I was like why like why I was so devastated I was saving so much for this fragrance I was like you know dad like what have you done and he was like but it was cheaper and it had the same name so I thought it was the same it's like dad you know this is how I get my savor I'm definitely a saver even though you wouldn't say but in all aspects of my life I am a yeah, I'm a saver. I don't like to spend money and my dad is the same, but he just devastated my dreams that day. You know, he didn't get me the fragrance. He got me like some lotion, which I used, but I was just, I was angry for a long time. Anyways, these two, I would say, if you enjoy this, you'll for sure love this. They're different, but they definitely have got a similar vibe. And these sort of fragrances I love wearing in the summer. Yeah, pretty, but like they're just natural smelling and really beautiful on the skin. Next up, we've got, you already seen it because I was like, <laughs> uh, Le Rouge Malachite. This is a scent that people adore. And when I wear it, they want to get a few sprays on themselves. They're like, hmm, do you have it with you? It's a scent that is milky, cozy, uh, just smooth. It kind of smells like 
suntan lotion but with a bit of like smokiness in that white flowers super creamy super lax smells so rich so sophisticated i love the armani Privé line and this one yeah really people ask me if they can wear it like after they smell it on me uh, my friends and like family they will ask if they can wear it or if they can come and like test it on themselves because they absolutely love it this is more of this projecting but also quite a intimate scent in a sense that it's not screaming it's very just soft in its presence I find um, I hope that those kind of descriptions really tell you a bit about the fragrance because I find that that is what I think about when I wear a fragrance I think oh like I don't want to scream today with my fragrance because fragrance is really what you want others to see or like before you speak or like uh, how you are perceived you know uh, you can really feel like oh i'm not feeling great this day i want to feel super confident in my fragrance and you wear something like this or you want to you know feel a bit more sexy and you put on a fragrance and you're like oh i'm ready for a day so this is sort of what i want to give you th those kind of descriptions this is definitely a more of that sexier creamier scent but i would also wear it in the summer or during the daytime because this is more of my signature scent um that is why i would wear it more often but i think most people would wear it um to like dinners or a bit more of that sexy situation i would say because it's that it gives that off when you smell it <laughs> if you will uh and the last scent that i get tons of compliments for but i think who doesn't it's baccarat rouge 540 and i don't know if it's because it's recognized that people are like mm, you spent a lot on your fragrance or is it because they actually like feel like it's a good smelling fragrance i think it's both um but when you see the bottle ah. I love the Exclare personally, I like both, but I own the Exclare because I think it's a bit more burnt sugar-like and the other one is a bit more light and free, <laughs> whereas this one is a bit straight to the point, very intense, sweet candy floss. This is a fragrance that lasts for days and it's a scent that really is like a power fragrance. This one, yeah, gets compliments everywhere I go, pretty much. So it's one of my most complimented ever fragrances. If not this, like before I owned this, it was dupes of this, but now that I own it, like nobody replicates this as good as the original. It is really a gem. And I even did a comparison on this channel or on the other channel, on the other channel. I'll link it down, uh, for you here in the cards. I bought a um, fake from China uh, and I compared it with the original and they're very close. So if you want to avoid getting uh, a fake, then watch that video because it, it's really just kind of scary how they try to copy the packaging everything and you can really get yourself a fake let me know what is your number one most complimented fragrance of all time i'd love to know i'll link all the fragrances for you in the top comment pinned comment and follow me on insta at monica underscore i'll see you in the next one bye